In this series, we're going to work through grade 10 maths, and I've started with algebra first. So before we can start with anything else, we need to talk about the number system. So what is the number system? The number system gives us a way to classify numbers, and it gives us rules to help us work with those numbers. It tells us how those numbers behave and, and tells us what we can do with those numbers based on how they behave. So the number system is broken up into non-real numbers and real numbers. Non-real numbers don't exist. So those are the ones that will give us an error on the calculator. So for example, the square root of a negative number or try and divide by zero. Now, if you're doing AP maths, you will realize that non-real numbers do actually exist and we use the letter I, but for those who are just doing pure maths, they don't exist and they will give you an error. Then you get real numbers. So real numbers are broken up into rational numbers and irrational numbers. Rational numbers are terminating. In other words, they end. Um, so they are 3.4 and nothing else. Or they are recurring. In other words, 3.44444. So rational numbers can be written as a fraction. Irrational numbers are like your crazy granny. They are non-recurring and non terminating or non-ending. In other words, they don't have a pattern and they don't stop talking. They don't make sense. Think about a schizophrenic. They talk a whole bunch of nonsense, but they don't actually make any sense at all. They're just stringing together a bunch of words. And that's exactly the same with irrational numbers. They have no pattern um, and they don't stop. Okay. Now, rational numbers can be broken up into three different parts. Your whole numbers, your natural numbers and your integers. Now, whole numbers start at zero and think of the O in whole and you've got the zero. There are no decimals and no fractions. Natural numbers, think of the L as a one, start at one. Again, there are no decimals and no fractions. So you're only dealing with um, whole as in complete numbers. Okay. Integers can be positive or negative whole numbers. Again, no fractions or decimals. So here are some examples. Now we would need to classify these. So if you took, for example, the square root of 6, let me find my calculator quickly. So if you took the square root of 6 <clears throat> and you said change, you will see that it doesn't give us a pattern and it doesn't stop. Even though it looks like it stops the calculator, it actually continues Further, we just don't give past nine decimals. So here you can see that it is a irrational number. If I try to take the square root of three, for example, here <clears throat> you would see the square root of negative three gives us an error. So we can see that this is a non-real number. Seven over eight is a, oops, sorry. 7 over 8 is a fraction, okay, and it gives us a decimal, so it is a real number. We can't classify it as a whole or anything further than that because it is a decimal or fraction. 0 is a whole number, so it is a real, rational, whole number. Negative 3 is a real, rational integer because it's negative. 7 is a real, rational, whole number, or natural number. They're both all integer, so it falls into any of those three categories. 6.3 is a real, rational number, but it is not a whole, natural, or integer because it has a decimal. 